Uh, I work at my ca uh, my dad's car detailing shop right now, and uh, I've been there for about, I'd say, four years now. My name is Tyler Kelly. I've only followed the Lord for three years now. I, I mean, I came from that home that I didn't, I didn't never I read the Word of God. I went a few times when I was a kid, and you know, I partied. I, I was the football player. I had everything that somebody worldly could have wanted. I had, my dad owned his own business. I had money. I had alcohol. I had drugs. I had the girls. I thought I had it all made, and this God, Jesus Christ, comes and crashes my life completely. So it's like, you know, I, I got. It was hard at first, like all my old friends, they made fun of me. I got mocked, my own, I got persecuted by my own dad and he would get my coworkers to gang up on me and they would all mock me at once. But now my dad has seen that it's had a change on me. He's come to accept it now. It was really hard for him at first, but he is, and I, I don't really talk to him about it anymore, but he'll come to me and he'll ask me questions about the faith every so often. So he's, he's come to accept it. He knows that I'm not backing down from this no matter what. When I first started doing it, my dad called it, he thought it was a cult. He's like, you're getting involved with a cult like that, uh, what's it, that Satanist Marilyn Manson or something? I don't know who he is, but he's like, that That must be a cult you're getting involved. I'm like, no, you have no clue. He's never been there. He's never experienced this. And it's, he's he just accepts it. He knows that nothing that he can say is going to stop me from, from pressing into it. So my friend, Mike Cataldo, who is, uh, he basically runs Revive Elkhart. He invited me to it a ton of times. and. I was like, I'm not, I'm not gonna go to that. I don't, I'm really busy, but eventually he got me into it when Kyle was going through Leviticus and I was hooked from that point. You got hooked on Leviticus? Yes, Leviticus out of everything. What has changed is it, it took me even deeper, deeper than I thought I could ever go. And really it's, it's taken me to a point where now I walk more, bold, more boldly, more confidently in my walk with God. I know who I am now. Like the biggest takeaway that I've got from it is coming and be around these older godly guys and they have sharpened me so much as a young man in the Lord. It, it's really, it has helped me become so much more confident who I am in Christ. And it's really, you know, it's, it's blessed me so much that I've been able to take it to my friends my age and even pour into them the things that I've taken from the school. So it's been a huge blessing on me. I've got, I've got to say Mike Cataldo, the mailman who leads your Bible cart. You know, I met him three months into my walk with God and he really, you know, he was like that father figure that I had in my walk with God, and he's the one who got me plugged in Revive School, and he's been, he has been such a, had such a huge impact on me in my walk with Christ, and he, uh, you know, I, I can't ever begin to thank him enough, and I mean, if we're being real, Kyle, too, I mean, like, he's got passion, he's passionate about it, and he's really inspired me, you know, the, the things that God's doing with him, that why can't God use me, too? That's why I'm so passionate. I know that I have the truth that is in Christ. I know that I have it and nobody can steal this passion that I have away from me.